my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Wednesday, May 18th. Welcome to Ugly Duckling Farm. <laughs> it's, it's still, it is kind of ugly duckling right now. You can probably see the binding is discolored and things. It's from glue and, you know, putting those rubber straps on it. Um, I have the binding complete on the back. The, it's, it's installed. I have the binding from starting on this curl here uh, around this point down around to here. Now I have to put it this rest of the way up here and then I've got to put this other inside little piece inside here yet. <sighs> I'm hoping I'll get all that part done today. How well is it going? You know, about like expected. I really wish it was better. There's lots of things that I just wish would just cooperate and just don't seem to want to cooperate, but I'm getting it there. One person said, why in the world did you, you know, laminate all this binding before you put it on? Why didn't you put it on one strip at a time? You can do that. You really could, I think. And in some way, that may be easier in the fact that it'll bend a little bit easier. Though the individual strips may break even more because like that curly maple, when you get it real thin like that, it, you start to bend it, it just breaks. It doesn't even bend, it just breaks. By having the laminate on there, that helps hold that from breaking. So that does, there is an advantage actually to gluing them together. But the real reason that I glue them together ahead of time is it's a nightmare putting this stuff on here. It, tr it truly is. It's just not fun at all. And if you had to do it three times on the back and then again three times on the front instead of one time on the back and one time on the front, yeah, you'd just be multiplying your nightmare. And one more thing that's an, a real factor, and that is that when you got these tight bends, you will never get all three laminates uh, to get tight in every location. You'll have thick places, thin places, thick places, thin places. By gluing them all together ahead of time, you get one consistent thickness of this. You, trust me, I do know what I'm talking about on that. I've done things like that and uh, yeah, it just, it's not pretty. So gluing it together ahead of time is the only way to go. It really is. Uh, you've heard my predicament. I'm just going to keep working and hopefully I can at least get all of the thing built, you know, by, I'm hoping by tomorrow I'll be completely finished with it. And uh, then it's back to making it look pretty again. It's basically detailing it, you know, staining all the parts that aren't stained and cleaning up all the little ugly spots on the binding and just, you know, detailing it like you detail a car. Hope you enjoyed the little short update today. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.